Happy Tuesday! Thank you for joining me here. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I am here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, 9.30 Eastern, and 6.30 Pacific. Uh, and it's a time that we can relax and craft together for about an hour. Uh, I work on projects from beginning to end, so you can be part of the whole project along the way. And uh, I like to learn new things and experiment, and uh, I'm grateful for your help. <laughs> I've definitely utilized it for sure. Uh, and this is one of those cases. So we are continuing the Splendid Sampler 2 today, and I am hand quilting this section of four blocks. I've done some hand quilting on these little triangles here, and now last night we, did, we started on this block. We did kind of like this star pattern. Uh, I have not done much hand quilting, so I'm kind of experimenting with all of that. I did buy that thimble lady <laughs> thimble uh, today, so hopefully that comes real soon and we can play with that. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, so, But tonight we'll be back to my little normal thimble and uh, we'll, we'll use that short needle today again too, uh, just because that's going to alleviate some stress on the finger. Uh, so that'll be good. Uh, let's see how we do tonight on all these little baby stitches. So awesome. Thank you again, guys, for joining me. Oh, uh, check your emails. I did send out an email this afternoon. Uh, it, it just kind of tells you when we'll start. I mean, it just basically is a reminder that we'll be starting the swan embroidery. I have that here still. We'll be, we'll be starting the swan embroidery uh, on Monday. So uh, uh, it, I don't think it'll take all week, but it'll take a couple of days. Uh, so we'll be starting that on Monday. Wednesday, which is tomorrow, Wednesday is probably the last day to order the bundle to get it in time for Monday. So that is kind of what the email was about. And uh, uh, I'm sending out Christmas cards. So if you wanted to uh, get a Christmas card from me, that kind of deadline is tomorrow as well. So there was a, oh, I should have put a, the link here. Um, the link is in the email uh, for that. And I'll, I'll throw it here tomorrow. Uh, then you can um, do it yet tomorrow if you haven't signed up for, uh, to get a, a real card from me. <laughs> like not an email, like a, a real physical, you know, mailed, mailed card. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Uh, so check that email out if you, uh, if you haven't yet, and I, I'm going to flip you guys around here. Uh, and yes, it is, I think, uh, was it Joe just now that asked how uh, the weather was, because Wisconsin is pretty cold? Yep, it is. It was two degrees today with like a wind chill of, you know, negative 10 or some sort of crazy. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be the uh, low teens, below teens, I mean uh, negative teens, not teens, teens would be nice, negative teens, and that's without a wind chill, so uh, that'll be pleasant. <laughs> God, it, I had to get gas today, it was not, it was not pleasant. Oh, Robin, oh, you're so sweet, oh, that is nice. I'm, I'm excited to, to see that. All right, I did have a short needle, where did it go? Right here. Oh, and so, yeah, Gretchen, it is, it's unpleasant, and I, and I say this every year here, but there is a big difference between 20 degrees and zero degrees, and there is a big difference between zero degrees and negative 20. I mean, when you, when, you, when it gets to be zero degrees, you can't think it gets, you can't even imagine it being colder, like, it can get colder, <laughs> and it feels different. It is a different feeling. Uh... So, we'll see how the next, uh, next uh, couple days go. Ugh. Yuck. And my poor car. <laughs> so, you guys, I have a 96, 1996 uh, Ford Explorer Sport, and it's got 260,000 miles on it, and uh, it's... It's feeling it. it. It's starting to really feel it, like to the point that I think we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to start looking for for something something else. 
Oh, I'm gonna try this one today. This is the, the fancier one, just in design. Um, but yeah, just in the in the cold, what's wrong with it now is that the power steering's like basically completely rusted out. Um, so we have to keep dumping um, power steering fluid in it. <laughs> and it needs it more because it's, it's kind of squealing again. Uh, I can still steer, so it's not completely out like it was a little bit earlier. But yeah, I mean, it's rusted to the point like, you know, soon it's going to be like rusting <laughs> through the floor. And, and you know, we're, we're at that point. And with, with Minnesota, Minnesota Super Salts, uh, the roads here. So just, it just, it just gets horrible here in Minnesota for, um, for the poor rusty car. Oh, you guys, this is sitting here too. Remember that this, this, uh, cute candle comes with a bundle as well. It smells good. Here, smell. Yum. <laughs> I'm just moving this stuff out of my way so I don't fling it off when I pull on my thread here. But yeah, so, uh, um, and yesterday was... The first real cold day, so yes, I mean today, this morning. So this morning it was like zero degrees, right? Um, it was hard to pull the door open. It 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 was uh, squealing. I had to pull, I had to yank it, and it like screeched like to to open the car. And it was um, I'm just trying to get this. I, I'm still I'm still practicing for sure on this. I'm trying to. I'm gonna switch back to the other one. Um, trying to get this whole rocking motion going. Ugh, but that poor, poor car. Oh, yeah, heated seats. So it's funny. So we did get, we had to replace another old car like that um, a few years ago. So we got a, a Subaru Forester. And this was like several years ago. This, I think it's a 2016, which is a massively new car compared to my uh, 90, 96, so 20 years newer. <laughs> it has so much fancier stuff. So that one has heated seats and, oh gosh, I just can't get in the rhythm here yet today. That one has heated seats and it has like that, that, uh, um, deal where you can uh, like where the cruise control uh will change between um oh nora so you have that too the cruise control like if there's a car that comes in front of you it'll slow itself down so if you're like doing highway driving which we kind of are a lot um oh god that's the best thing ever that uh, adaptive cruise control it's called different things for different it's called eyesight in our car but um Dang, that's nice. One of those silly things that you're like, ah, that's the dumbest thing. I don't need that. But, oh, it's amazing. So now, oh, you have an Outback. Now I just, it's just so gross to even think this, but now I feel like I can't have a car without that. <laughs> that and the heated seats. So, I don't know. We haven't looked at all yet. Um... But what I really want, so here's like dream cars for you, which is, you know, horrible that this is a dream car. I am not a huge car person, so, but I would freaking love <laughs> a minivan with stow and go seating. I am like freaking out about the stow and go seating because we do a lot of, um, I'm going to go into this and kind of make part of the diamond shape here. Um, oh gosh, I might have to go down and up because this is just such a strong seam here. I don't know how I'm going to get through it. I'm going to just kind of pop up right here. But we, you know, I'm moving boxes all the time, um, you know, doing different delivery type stuff for Penguin and Fish. And we're always just like moving something around. So like the idea... Oh, and then with the with with these minivans with the stone go seating, you can actually fit like a full, you know, wood panel thing, you know, from like Home Depot or something in there. You know what I mean? Like it just has a different, it's just different vertical space than you can get in, you know, any other car really. <laughs> these minivans. 
Yes. So uh, the idea of like a minivan with snow and go seating, because I still want the seating. I still want it to turn into seating, but I don't want to take out the seats. Like, ugh, I don't want to do that. So <laughs> my current dream vehicle is seriously a um, minivan with snow and go seating. And now it has to have like the cruise control <laughs> and the heated seats too, right? Uh, so I don't know. There's, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna have to start looking what's available, I think, soon here, though. Just cause, um, I'm just gonna kinda draw a line here. Just cause my poor little, poor little, uh, 96 Explorers. It's in, it's in a bad shape. It's too, it's too much to repair the thing that needs to be repaired too. So we're just been, we've just been uh, feeding it uh, cruise control, um, not cruise control, uh, power steering fluid. And that seems to take care of it for like a week or so and then we gotta fill it up again. It's just totally leaking. Oh man, a heated seats, Gretchen. God, and like, and actually the old car, the, the Explorer doesn't have heated seats or anything like that. Um, it has cloth seats though, so I don't think it gets as cold as like leather seats. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's a nice benefit, but it's not actually so bad in the Explorer without the heated seats. So actually I, I think I would almost choose the cruise control over the heated seats just because that is slick. That is a slick thing. It just makes it just so easy for long, long car rides. Just smooth and it'll slow down for you. And I mean, I'm always still paying attention and, and all that. I'm, you know, I'm a watchful <laughs> driver, but it is nice to just let the car slow down itself. Oh, uh, my parents have a have an F one fifty, and they they like it a lot. Yeah, the thirteen below. The thing is, like, well, with the heated seats, yeah, that that is nice in the thirteen below, for sure. Um, oh God, you know what's been the best though? And I said this last year. It's been my fuzzy hat. My my fuzzy hat, like. Like those Russian hats with the like big mutton chop fur things on it. Oh my god. I so don't complain about winter as much anymore now that I have that hat. Like that that was the game changer of game trade interest for, for uh winter. For sure. Uh see Gretchen, we don't have a remote for the car. John keeps talking about that. Um I'm not like that freaks me out a little bit. Like, can people just go in and drive off then? I think uh, a lot of people just start their car and leave here, but that's, there's been stolen cars, obviously, from doing that. I don't know, I've never had a car car starter, so yeah, it's probably one of those things that if we ever got it, then it'd be like something you can't live without. Oh, you love your hat like that, Don. Dang, that is, I'm telling you, that is the game changer of winter that hat for sure all right i'm having a little trouble with these stitches today for for sure here um we are going through a ton of fabric here i mean these are big fat seam allowances oh i know why it's feeling different i'm using that short needle i'm like why can't i get to the end of this row it's because i'm using this shorter needle oh it won't start unless the doors are locked oh interesting Oh, oh, so it's not, okay, Gina, so it doesn't even work unless it's locked. Oh, okay, okay. We may have to splurge on that. The other thing we're going to have to splurge on is a hitch, I think. Um, there's been a few times when we're like, dang, it would have been nice to get, get a hitch. Oh, you know, this is reminding me right now. I did order a couple other things from the thimble lady. So I ordered that new thimble, that one that goes on your on your hand that you can just push like this or on your finger, like lower on your finger. Uh, I did get some of those silicone um, finger things. So one goes on the thumb and one goes on the finger to help pull the needle through. Uh, so I did grab one of those. I think I got 
Oh, I got some thread and needles from her as well. So, um, oh gosh, like right now I cannot, there we go. So I got, I got her recommended needles and thread and, you know, so I got some, I got some cotton thread like this. And then I also, she was having like a clearance on some of the silk thread. And I know that some of you guys here had said for the silk thread, you use that for your needle turn applique because it's really fine. And uh, I remembered that and I'm like, oh, I'm going to give that a try. So I've never used, I've never used that before. So um, I'm excited, excited for that. Oh, yes. So she's online, Renee, and it's an investment. Let me start out with that. I was pretty shocked when I saw the pricing of it, but uh, she had some good sales copy and it kind of sold me on it. And I just, I like, I like new gadgets. <laughs> uh, ever since I've been doing these Facebook lives, all of a sudden I've been into the new, testing out the new gadgets. So, or new to me gadgets. It's, it's not really new. You're thinking the thimble, thimble sizing was hard? Well, that's what was interesting about, about these thimbles. So they are sized. There's, I think, four different sizes. And they, they have an open top. So they actually go down. Oops. It's, it was actually kind of like this leather one, right? So it would go, it's a cone shape, and it goes down. So it will end up kind of looking like this, right? But metal. So what your, um, oh, Nancy, awesome. Um, what you're measuring is like this knuckle, basically. So you just get a piece of paper and you mark it and measure. Um, the neat thing, though, from some of the reviews is that, uh, in theory, it works like in winter when your hands are a little bit smaller or like different times of day if your hand, fingers get swollen or if you're doing it a lot. Because it's a cone, it can just shimmy up a little bit or down a little bit depending on, you know, if your fingers are swollen or not. Uh, so you get your basic size, um, from your measurements and then in theory it can go up and down a little bit and then you just switch which little hole divot that you're using on it. So I thought that was kind of cool. That made sense to me. So it is kind of, it's, it will kind of adjust with your size needs just because it's a cone. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I got the, um, the, uh, stainless steel one because it was half the price of the of the silver one um and it was still pretty pricey i thought but again i'm all for supporting people's inventions um and you know people who figure out fun stuff in like niche little things like like this i just think that's awesome oh gosh yeah just don't put it outside right now <laughs> freeze my finger All right, just, just to like show you guys what I'm doing, I, I'm kind of trying to repeat the star pattern a little bit. I wonder what it's looking like on the back. That's really kind of hard to tell what's happening on the back, but, um, you know, so I have this star going here, and then there's this rectangle. I've been, I added like more of that star little bit in, um, just to kind of reemphasize the idea of this star. And I think it's just like a fun little extra detail. I mean, these are subtle, subtle details, right? I mean, you got to be really looking at the quilt and knowing what you're looking at, um, you know, like a quilter to see, to pick up on some things like that. But I like it. Oh, yes, Renee, it's thimblelady.com. That's all. And it, uh, it's Oh, she's from Australia. And, you know, it's not new, but it's new, new to me for sure. I think she's been in the, like, hand quilting industry for uh, a couple of decades, it sounds like. But, yeah, like I said, it, 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 it's pricey, but I'm giving it a go. I'm excited about this hand stitching. I can definitely see doing it more. Um, and just thimble was kind of on my list of things to get better at and learn more about. So I'm, I'm liking that. Oops, I'm just getting a little further down here for you guys. Um, I like, hold on, sorry. Sorry, we're doing a little twist here. <laughs> Gotta tighten the tripod. Um, but I like that I, I'm getting some practice. 
You want to try some hand quilting as well, Renee? Yeah, I mean, I'm really finding this enjoyable, actually. Um, I can see this doing, doing this on a larger scale, for sure. Uh, like on a, just on a, a bigger project or, you know, even a whole cloth quilt where it's all needle turn. Or, you know, I, I've talked about doing like a Hawaiian, ugh, this would be just a giant project. I'd have to, I'd have to finish a whole pile of other projects before starting this, but like a, a big Hawaiian needle turn applique quilt. That's where you have the whole cloth, um, like a one color quilt, like a huge bed sheet basically, right? And then you do almost like a snowflake in another color. So like how you fold up paper to make a snowflake uh, and then cut the little pieces out. It's basically like that, but with fabric. And then you end up with this huge design that you, you put on the, that back cloth and then you stitch it all down. <laughs> Ever since I started the needle turn applique stuff, I've been kind of wanting to do that, which would be an insanely like bajillion year long project probably. But imagine like hand quilting the rest of it, like, like, um, echoing around the shape, just like with little stitches like that. Ooh, that would be so fun. But if you had the right tools and you know, if I got into this and was able to just like really get the motion and just, you know, obviously I'm a huge beginner in this yet, but uh, there's a little bit of a dream in there. A project like that would be just amazing, I think. So who knows? <laughs> it, it, it's maybe it's a bucket list project. All right, I'm gonna get my left hand involved in here again, just cause it's, hard to hold. So I, I'm not in a hoop just because I'm oops. I'm doing these like little small quilt as you go pieces. Oof, we're gonna go right there and with the short needle. I keep forgetting that. But the short needle, then my, my finger doesn't have to be way up here to push a larger needle. It just, it can stay straighter. That again, this new thimble should take care of that because my, my finger will never be up like this. It'll, I'll just be pushing with the side. I'll be pushing with the side of my finger instead of like the tip. So I'll never be curved, hooked back like that. Yeah, I mean, no piecing, Gretchen. So no piecing, just, a, I mean, I probably have to put two yards of fabric next to each other to make a wide piece. I suppose you can buy fabric that's super wide. Um, but yes, so no piecing, just one giant sheet and then one other giant sheet, a different color that's cut like a snowflake. And um, then, oh God, yeah, an heirloom quilt for sure. Yeah, so it's just kind of two big pieces of fabric that you stitch one on top of the other. If you Google Hawaiian quilts, um, or like a Polynesian quilt, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about real, real quick. Oh, it would be fun to even on purpose make it look like a snowflake. That would be appropriate for here. God, I cannot even think about that until this splendid sampler is done, until the I Love Home quilt is done. I'm just making a big stitch here. Um, the triangle tango quilt and then we're starting these new quilts so oh and I didn't I don't think I talked about this uh yesterday but I did put it on the Facebook page um so here's kind of the plan for next year starting January um let me do another one of these kind of shapes in here I don't want to go all the way to the edge because, you know, that might get cut off and I don't want to cut the stitches, so I'll go about to here. Uh, but the schedule for our projects here for next year, at least to get going. Oh gosh, yeah, and I'm going to start, I'm going to start two new projects right away. Uh, so we are going to do the, or I am, <laughs> you don't have to, but I, I'm going to here do the Orifil, uh the Orophil uh, quilt along. So the colors of Italy, I think is what it's called. I gotta, I gotta look it up again, but I, I'm going to be designing one of the blocks for it. And I'm uh, like super duper excited about that. Um, I suppose I could say I'm doing the July block. So 
like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think they said the order. So I'm going to be doing the July block. Oh, Gretchen, you're going to do it. Yay. Um, yes, yeah, so mine's July, and it starts... It starts in January, and Blair uh, Stalker, you know, we, we've done one of her projects. We did her English paper piecing. We did that pillow, uh, that really neat English paper piecing. Uh, we, I, I ended up putting it in the pillow. That flower, it was kind of like that flower, that geometric -y flower. What was the name of that? Oh, but that was her. And she has the ruby ruler where you can see like the colors. So she, she does, uh, she's going to be doing the first block, I believe, for the Aurifil. So she's one of the Aurifil uh, designers for the Stitch Along as well. So I'm excited about that. I haven't seen her block yet, so uh, I haven't seen any of the designers block. Actually, I still need to design the block. I got some fabric today for it, so I'm, I'm super stoked um, for that. But yes, so back on topic, I will be starting that project in January. The other project I will be starting in January is the uh, um, granny square quilt. So we've talked about this quilt for ages and um, we'll be starting it for real. So I figure how, how we'll schedule this just to make sure that we keep, that I don't keep saying we're going to work on something and we actually work on it. I'm going to kind of divide up the months by weeks. And I know the weeks kind of fluctuate, you know, by weeks, I mean like a Monday through Friday period of time. And I know obviously months don't all start and end with a perfect week like that. So we'll be a little flexible. We'll just kind of figure it out. Um, but so week one will be the Aurifil block because I'm guessing it'll be released right at the beginning of the month. So we'll do it right when it comes out. Uh, so that's the, week one will be the Aurifil block. Week two will be the Granny Square Quilt. So we'll make sure we'll get a week of that in. Um, I did put, oh, did I, put, oh gosh, you guys. I put these links in the Penguin and Fish page and on the Penguin and Fish Crafters group. So they are there. I don't think I put them on in, in this Facebook link. Uh-oh, I'm doubling up threads. How long have I been doing that? Great. Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> um, so week two. Oh, I didn't put the links in the email yet, Sylvia, but I will be sending an email out um, with the, the projects links in. So I, I haven't done that yet, but it is on my agenda. I will get the, I will get like a full uh, link thing out for you. Um, not sure if that goes out next week, but it'll be it'll be going out. So I will do that. Otherwise, it is on Facebook, uh, and I'll try and remember to put it in this this group or this this uh thing tomorrow, the Facebook Live tomorrow. But yeah, so okay, so week one, the Orifil block of the month, the colors of Italy is what it's called, and then week two is the try or is the sorry is the Granny Square quilt. Then week three will be the uh, penguin and fish embroidery of the month. So uh, that to, uh, this this month, we'll, we're starting that actually in December, um, but we'll continue it in you know all the other months. So because we're gonna, it'll be every month now. Uh, so the third week we will be stitching whatever the embroidery of the month is. We will still have finish it Friday. So. Um, you know, we'll, and there'll be pockets for other little projects and stuff too. Like if we finish a block early or if the weeks are just set up really weird that we have a couple of days before we, we dig in, there will be pockets that we will, will still be flexible. So I, we will still have the finish at Fridays. Um, yes. So the third, third week will be, um, the embroidery of the month and, uh, the fourth week will be the Splendid Sampler, because this could not, not get done. <laughs> uh, so uh, fourth week will be the Splendid Sampler too. And again, 
that is our rough schedule. There will be pockets and there will be like weird weeks or we might just want to continue on something because we just have one more day's worth to work on it. Uh, but that is the general flow of things. We will try to keep keep that um, schedule schedule going. So again, week one, or fill quilt. Week two, granny square uh, quilt. Week three, the embroidery of the month. And week four, uh, splendid sampler. And then also finish it Fridays. So if you're if you're new to that, um, every first first Friday of the month. Um, we stop whatever we're working on and we try and break out an unfinished project. It could be something totally random that I have sitting around the house here that just needs to get an hour plugged in on it, you know? Um, and I'm so amazed at how that motivates me to actually finish the project, just that one little hour once a month. Um, so yeah, so that's Finish It Friday, the first Friday of every month. That's been like, a game changer for me finishing things really like that one one hour once a month and all of a sudden I want to finish it and I want to work on it and sometimes I only do it during that hour and sometimes I'll finish it up but I feel like I feel like I'm checking off the projects by by that um even though I keep adding projects that's kind of the problem oops I keep pulling the thread out I think it's almost about time to Get a new thread. How far did we get? Where did we start? Oh, we're about halfway. We're about exactly halfway right now. Um, yeah, and you know what? I I think you can see these little indents that I'm putting here. I think that's a fun little extra touch. Uh, I wanted to bring home that idea of, of the star, and I think that just adds just that little bitty subtleness to it. You know what? I think I am going to just start a new thread now because it, it's short enough. I mean, it's, you know, long enough that I can obviously do more stitches, but it's it's getting annoying to pull like it feels weird so I'm gonna let's do let's do our last little stitch so I'm gonna do that kind of French knot um, where I do the French knot but kind of do it up a little bit higher yeah exactly Amity we could we could do like every once in a while one of these Saturday oh see I, I lost my needle again um, every Saturday, Saturday once in a while, like one of those just mega power sewing days where I'm like, I'm gonna sew till I get this done or like something more than an hour, like a, like a several hour long, you know, <laughs> back in the first splendid sampler, I did it for like six hours, I think. I gotta get a better end on this. But yeah, exactly, that would be a lot of fun. I, I would really love to do that too. And I am hoping to do more video this year, I know I say that every year, but um, it eventually happens. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just uh, make like that next stitch and see the knot is up here. So I'm gonna make the next stitch. So I left enough between the knot for a stitch and I'm just um, going in the top fabric. Actually, I'm gonna go this way so I don't actually get a seam allowance. There we go. And then I'm going to just kind of pop that, that knot through. There we go. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Good plan, Gretchen. Gretchen says, yes, and the number one rule is stay in your PJs all day and sew. <laughs> Sounds good. Yes. I definitely want to do another Saturday like that where we just just work on a project and just crank it out on a Saturday. Ugh, those are the best days sometimes when you can just sit and sew all day. That that would be nice to do that again sometime. But yeah, so that's how it will divide the weeks. Some of these projects may not take that long. I mean, like the, the embroidery of the month, that will be pretty solid at the third week every month just because um, it'll be a new one every month. But sometimes uh, they might take a little longer and sometimes not. So there'll be pockets for other fun things. I mean, and I'm still playing like in my head, like I'm a little itching to do this granny square quilt. And then I kind of want to do it 
like a matching grindy square afghan it would be like just really fun do some crochet like learn how to do the um granny square block in crochet we could do that here a little little beginner crochet action that would be kind of fun after <laughs> after the whole entire quilt's done because uh, i'm getting to the to the feeling of i just need to finish all the things you know Ooh, you want a really you want a, a penguin fish t-shirt that'd be fun All right, there we go. Um, so that was our knot that we just pulled through here. And we will stitch. Oh gosh, Gretchen, I have so much to learn with this for sure. I would actually like to do it where I can put it in a hoop or on a bigger project where I don't have like the edges right here, I think would be nice. I have a feeling I will be doing a lot more of this though. This is nice and relaxing. Ooh, penguin and fish merch. That would be fun. <laughs> oh my god. If I did do that, what would you guys want? Like t-shirts would totally be fun. Come on, guy. There we go. I keep hitting everything with this big piece of fabric. Looking cute though. I'm probably not going to get more detailed on on these blocks just because you know it's hard enough that we're doing this. Or not not hard enough, but slow enough that I'm doing this by hand and just trying to learn. So here, I like this. But I think it looks cute. Just a little like this. Ooh, you'd like the crafty kitty. Oh, sweatshirts. God, I, I need it. I, I would love to do so sweatshirts. I have, I wear like one sweatshirt and it's this sweatshirt that I got when I visited my brother in Kansas City from, uh, oh gosh, what is it called now even? Boulevard Brewery? Boulevard Brewery. I don't know, any Kansas City people here? Um, it's Boulevard Brewery, right? Boulevard Brewery. Uh, and it is the softest, nicest sweatshirt ever, and I'm like, oh, I need to have 800 more sweatshirts like this. Alright, hold on this. Oh, so Gretchen, you would like, like, blank things uh, for the purpose of stitching on so like a blank t-shirt with maybe some t-shirt stabilizer or something that you could stitch on all right i'm trying to get a good keep turning this I'm not getting quite the right spot that i want get into all these giant seams again and i think i'm just gonna make one big old stitch to get get over here uh-oh, Sharla, so the blocks are released on the 15th of each month. Okay, so we may need to switch some things around here at 15th. Oh, that'll be... So, all right, so we may have to do... <laughs> I'm glad you looked that up. It's on my list to go through all that. I, I was thinking it would be the first of the month. So, all right, we may... Well, good thing I didn't send out an email of this schedule yet. So, uh, week four may have to be the Aurifil. So maybe we'll do... Maybe week one will be, um, maybe week one we'll do the Splendid Sampler because then we'll have uh, that Finish It Friday and then we can spend a nice good full week on the Granny Square Quilt, so. <laughs> uh, but the third week I definitely want to be the Embroidery of the Month because that's, um, I know you guys will have, if you guys buy bundles right away for that, you'll have the materials right away. Here's another case where it's just so fat. I don't think I can even fold the fabric. I'm going to just stab it through. It's all right. Good thing I didn't. I know I, know, I kind of put that out there on Facebook already, but I will 
Look at that again. So yeah, so the Orphil may have to be the last, last week of the month. That's fine. Just a little rearrangey. Oh, I see what you're saying, Gretchen. Oh, that'd be sweet. I like that idea. It'd be fun to do like little quilt labels and stuff too. That'd be fun. That'd be, I think, easy enough to do. Third little rectangle here. Gosh, I don't, I'm not quite sure we'll finish this guy today, which is fine. We got other days and we got two whole new things. Oof, I, I feel like I'm, I didn't. I haven't gotten the feel for it yet tonight, like I was every once in a while last night. But, eh, stitches are still happening, I suppose. We'll do what we can on this. Oh yeah, coffee mugs. Gosh, I could always love a good coffee mug. Well, that might be a fun thing. Um, just so you guys know, I do want to get some other supplies. I want to kind of flesh out uh, the supplies in the shop as well. So like, for example, um, extra embroidery needles and um, the water soluble pens. Uh, so I want to get some more things like that or supplies in the shop too. So if there's any supplies um, that you guys would really like to have all in one place. Um, that would be good. Uh, Jenna, I will look up the Aurafil stuff a little bit more. I think they are releasing all new fun colors of thread for each month. And I know they're going to be doing a bunch of giveaways and stuff too, I think. So I will, I'll, I'll dig into that a little bit more. I, so that's what I'm saying. I, I'll, I'll send an email out about all these projects and I'll talk about, I'll, I'll do, I'll do my uh, homework and um, talk about all these projects a little bit more uh, in an email so you guys know, know exactly uh, ooh, what's coming up and what the game plan and what the project actually is and all that. So uh, in a week or so I'll get that together. Oh, good Robin. Yes. So I will have embroidery needles. Oh, fabric. Yes. I, that, that was the other thing I wanted. Some of this, like, you know, this white muslin that I like using, that sort of stuff would be nice to have in the shop. And But yeah, so if you th guys think of anything else, totally let me know. Gosh, this is a big seam area again. I'm gonna poke it through and then come up. This is ridiculous, I think. And the, a hand a quilt person would be like, what are you doing right now? But that's okay. I just, this is gonna be a difficult spot because it's all seam. There we go. Woohoo! Cutting out your triangle tango squares. Awesome. Yeah, a few people have said needles, and I know uh, I know some people have written me about needles too. So we'll definitely have needles. How why don't I ask you guys this? How would you like that to work? Because <laughs> like right now I have oops, sorry. I do I do have like my my little needles um, on little card packs like this, just like two. Um, but like, gosh, I don't know. I, 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 they might have to be like an add-on item just because they're so little. Like the shipping would be more than the price of the needle, you know? So I don't know. I'm going to have to, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I can do, if you order something else, maybe it's, free shipping on those. The shipping, if that's the only thing you order, is like a little bit of a goofy thing. 
Um, but other than that, I would love to have just like little itty bitty, like a couple, a couple needles, a couple extra needles like that. Oh yes, I love the triangle tangle quilt too. That was just a fun, easy thing. Just such a simple block. So relaxing to stitch because it's the same thing just over and over. That that was really fun. Still gotta figure out the the quilt. Oh, vial of needles. That would be something. Yeah. That would be fun. Find some cute little containers. Yeah, the, the shipping is what has been the kind of question mark in my brain on that, but we'll figure it out. Always the silly shipping. All right. We just have this bottom area to go yet. Oh, maybe we can finish that yet tonight. That'd be cool. Oh my gosh, you started wrapping Christmas presents today. Oh yeah, so if you guys didn't get in um, right at the beginning here, uh, well, two things. So Wednesday, that's tomorrow, if you want to do the stitch along, the uh, the swan embroidery with me um, on, we're going to do that on Monday next week. Tomorrow is the last day to order the bundle to most likely have it on time. So it ships priority mail and priority mail is it's either one day through three days, depending on how far away from you I am. So three days tops. Uh, ooh, did I get a little mat? So uh, um, tomorrow is most likely the cutoff day for that. However, there is, there is the PDF pattern too. So it's not only the bundle. If you don't want all the supplies or yeah, you live far away and yeah, and don't want to pay exp expensive shipping and that sort of thing, then it is available as just the downloadable PDF pattern. And if you buy the bundle, it comes with the pattern automatically. You don't have to buy both. Um, the, it'll with the PDF pattern still. So it's both the PDF pattern. But anyway, so that is, um, that is the cutoff day is probably tomorrow on that. And I actually only have, I think like around 10 more of those might be nine now. So, um, I don't even know if I'll have bundles till the end of the month. Um, so that's something I'm going to have to look into. So yeah. So, <laughs> uh, last day to get bundles before we start stitching. Um, last day to order is probably would be good would be tomorrow. Um, and then also tomorrow, uh, if you want a holiday card from me, I'm sending out like actual physical holiday cards. Uh, those, the last day to fill out the form with your address for those is, is tomorrow as, as well. So I can get those out. And so you guys get them before, before the, before Christmas. Oh, Gretchen, yeah, you got the floss bundle and the PDF pattern. That's a good, that's a good way of doing it. I think I'm going to use the hoop. It comes with a hoop, too. I think I'm going to use the hoop to turn it into, like, a little wall hanging. Uh, the other thing is that it comes with, the bundle comes with quite a bit of fabric. So it comes with a half yard of fabric, not just, you know, a little bit of fabric. So that's enough fabric if you wanted to turn it into a pillow or, or something else. Oh, you got your Pokemon quilt quilted. Ah, how freaking exciting. I am, Julie, I am sending cards overseas. So, um, I am, I'm hoping, I mean, like, now that I think about it, I don't know how long those will take to get there, but I am sending overseas cards as well. So, and I, I forgot to put that form, uh, it's a form to fill out just so I get your address for, for those cards. Um, it's, I, I did put a link a while ago in the, in Facebook, but I forgot to put the link in here. Uh, so I'll, I'll throw that link in again, or I'll pin it to the top of the page 
on the Penguin and Fish page. And I'll, I'll post it again in in um, the Penguin and Fish Crackers group. It, is, it did go out in the email today as well. Oh gosh, yes, put as much insurance as you can on that on that quilt. Uh, you, you, that's a good point, Deborah. I I'd be nervous about that as well for sure. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Gretchen. Yeah, just a mix of embroidery I think is going to be fun. Yep, and uh, um, if this is the first you've um, heard me chit-chatting about this, about the embroidery of the month. Well, first of all, uh, this month is the first month, and this is the embroidery of the month, this little swan feller. So that's what I'm talking about. This is what we'll be stitching on Monday, and I do in the bundle for this, um, that tomorrow is the last day for that. Uh, but every month will be a different design. They are not related. Um, I mean, some may be here and there, but... Um, they're like each its own thing. So it's not like a stitch along. It is not a subscription. You don't have to like subscribe to something and, you know, pay a, pay money and then forgot that you signed up for it or anything like that. It's not, it's not a sign up or anything. It's just, it's just there for the month and gone. So, um, you know, the last day for this one will be the 31st. And then on January 1st, the new one will be there. And then this one will go away. So, uh, that's that's how it's gonna work. A new a new one every month, and they all are. The bundles will not be the same each time either. Um, they will vary, or maybe sometimes it'll be like a kitchen towel that we stitch on, or something else. And I want to put like a fun little thing in each one of them as well that I think you guys will like. This month is that that creating all the things candle that ugh, just smells so freaking yummy oh that's awesome yeah it was so nice to see you too grace you have to say hi to everyone for us you've just been traveling traveling grace got a grace here got to hang out with chad and kitty for the past week <laughs> I miss little Chad Kitty. Um, they, there will be some bigger ones and there'll be some smaller ones. They probably won't get much bigger than the swan one, but we may do some little mini ones like how we did the diamond. Uh, if you remember that diamond, like shine bright, uh, the diamond one from a couple months ago, that I would consider a smaller one. So sometimes they might be bigger like the swan one and sometimes they might be smaller so if you're putting them in a quilt or, or something you can just put like a little bit bigger border around that one or or something but yeah they will be kind of various sizes and various themes oh you spoiled chad kitty that's good he needs to be spoiled he's a go kitty good chad kitty all right, some of these stitches are pretty big, and a lot of times it's, oh gosh, I'm gonna not even bother. We're gonna go just one giant stitch on this one. Uh, a lot of times it's where I have all these fat seam allowances, and now I'm so close to being done that I'm like, oh, let's just get to the end. Yeah, like look at that, just one big old stitch. I can do better than that. We'll try and do good here. Oh, that's true. You can add little embellishments if you need it bigger. Yeah, that might be another good reason, like, to, like, you know, if you, for example, with this swan one, it has half a yard of that white fabric. Um, but it might, I might not always have that fabric in the kit. Like, it might be the kitchen towels or something and stuff, too. Yeah, and again, uh, there will always be the PDF pattern by itself. So if you have tons of supplies or you live overseas and don't want to get a whole bundle or whatever, um, or you just don't want a whole bundle, there will always be the 
just the PDF pattern by itself. So easy peasy PDF pattern. Um, the bundle just has like those extra little bits in. Yeah, I'm getting worse and worse tonight, I think, on, on the stitching, but that's okay. Oh yeah, so that's what I was saying. Like with this with the extra fabric in this kit, you can save some and use it on some others. But I have uh, I have January's already, and, and I'm really uh, I'm really very excited about that one. Well, I'm excited about this one too, but and uh, um, that means I'll be drawing and stuff more more kits throughout the year. So again, I said this uh, before, but there's something you really really would love to stitch. I know that rooster is awfully cute in the. Hang on the fish crafters group, like a rooster on kitchen towels would be pretty fun. But I'll be drawing throughout the year uh, new patterns and stuff for the embroidery of the month. So um, there'll be that. Look, look, I'm I'm definitely getting worse and worse as I go tonight. Good thing I'm almost done because I think it's time to stop. I'm like just I'm not even I'm just going everywhere. <laughs> It's okay, though. No, it's kind of it's just it's a it's fun it's something funny to notice. Like, oh, I'm just totally getting horrible at this tonight. Ooh, a poodle, that would be fun. All right, you guys, uh, I'm gonna make that last little stitch so I can um, bury that knot. So I'm making that little knot a little bit above and um, then doing just that stitch where I'm staying um, just on the surface. I want to go this way though. So it's like my last stitch there. I'm just in the surface, the, the top layer here. And then pulling it through there. Oh yeah, the horse. You know what? I actually do want to do a, a horse one, so that may be coming up. I haven't drawn anything for that yet, but I have a thought on, <laughs> on a horse. But yeah, that horse as a reindeer was pretty cute. That would be really kind of fun. All right, I just hit you guys this sorry Got a little bumpy there for a moment. All right, that is this block here. So that felt I mean, yeah, my stitches are a little wonky today, but I was able to chit chat the whole time. That's an improvement <laughs> from full concentration. I do really actually like this extra detail. I don't know if it's, it might just be so subtle. It might be hard to tell, but um, just that extra little, you know, flare of a star in, in those little bits. Let's, let's peek at the back. I think once this gets washed once, it won't be so puckery anymore. Um, but yeah, you can see that kind of star shape, like here especially, this is that, this doesn't exist, that's, that's in that rectangle, so that's kind of cool to see on the back, these little bits, I think that helped the back make this look like a star. Cool! All right! So, we have these bottom two guys yet to do, I am not sure. How we'll tackle those quite yet? Oh gosh, you know what? It might be fun to do like some circle stuff, like a circle around here. Like instead of following these lines, we could do like a like a big. This could be like one big giant circle with like baby circles on the inside. So that could be interesting. Or one of those things where we do like an S shape. Or like each one of these ends up being little circles. Ah, I don't know something, but I don't know, I'm feeling circle of this for some reason. Um, yeah, and then we got this guy to do yet too, but it's coming along. I mean, this is not necessarily that much longer of time than us machine quilting this whole thing if we were, got really super detailed. And hey, we're holding together fabric. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna flip you around and we'll call it an evening here. All right, E. Nice seeing all of you guys again tonight. Here we are. It 
just is so sweet. I am definitely going to be doing more um, hand quilting and really <laughs> one of the big reasons is it's just one of those other things like I have to learn the, all the secrets of this craft. <laughs> Sometimes I just need to know. I need to know how it's done and then I'm good. <laughs> so this this feels like something I need to know. Uh, so we got those thimbles or that, that fancy thimble coming. Um, hopefully that doesn't take forever to ship. Dude, it'd be really nice if it came before Christmas. That would be neat. Um, then we can play around with that. Um, we'll just have to come up with, we might just have to do a whole nother one of these squares with hand quilting, uh, just to give it a, a test, which would be fine. I think that would be fun. But all right, you guys, I will work on that schedule, <laughs> especially since the Aurifil, uh block doesn't come out to the 15th, so that kind of messes up my little plan. So I will do my homework and <laughs> figure that out a little bit better. Uh, but again, uh, last day tomorrow to order the Swan um, bundles, so you have them before we start stitching. Um, otherwise there's a PDF that will be there to the end of the month yet for sure. And then it's also the last day to sign up, uh, to get a, uh, a holiday card for me. I've been busy writing them. Uh, so they will be going out in the mail, uh, at the end of the week. So keep an eye on that as well. And yes, it will be sent overseas too. So awesome. Thank you, you guys. I will, uh, see you tomorrow. Good night.